Welcome to Newsmakers. This week, we attended an open house for the Mary Marshall Assisted Living Residents. Operated in partnership with the Volunteers of America with funding from Arlington County, Mary Marshall provides housing for low-income seniors with serious mental illness or intellectual or developmental disabilities. We spoke to Resident Services Director Kay Halverson. We um, will be able to serve 52 people. We are at 25 right now. The types of services we provide are what um, medical services, um, because as you age, you obviously have more medical needs, and so we do services in that respect. And then also, um, we do a lot of monitoring of their um, their mental status to make sure that they're stable and taking their medications and things like that. And this facility here today is so amazing because it's the culmination of work from hundreds and hundreds of people in different organizations in different parts of this community. And you know, as Marsha Algar, our deputy county manager said today, it could have gone wrong any number of places. Everyone played a part. And you know, not every community would have done this and could have done this. And we should feel really great about this Arlington community that we pulled this off. Many of our citizens who live with serious mental illness or cognitive disabilities, they're aging like all of us are aging. And as they age, they need more and more health services, assisted living, and many of the current facilities can't manage the needs of, the, of folks like that. So this feels, fills a huge gap in our community to meet the quality of life needs for these folks, for housing, for all the supportive services that surround housing that allow them to stay in our community. And now we have it uh, available, it's been renovated, it's been done, it's been extended. Uh, you have sun sun rooms down there and uh, great uh, facilities for uh, our, our residents here, which is at the moment it's about 26, but it has capacity of about 52. So we're hoping to fill them all and so our Antonians can have a place where they can uh, be comfortable in uh, their uh, latter years. So does this feel like home to you? Yes, it does. It, because I used to live in a group home and they didn't maintain it too well and this is maintained far better than the group home and they have better staff here and they, ha they have uh, better food. Well what you heard repeatedly today was that that searing question from parents who had a son or daughter with an intellectual disability that knew they couldn't be self-sufficient, that they, they needed the support around them and the fear was what's going to happen to that child when I die? what is going to happen and the government isn't supposed to solve all the problem but we have to be part of the solution and in this case we were part of the solution we're not the whole solution uh, we're providing space for 52 of these individuals to have a secure supported future with a high quality of life the city is great and i enjoy living in here and the staff is great that's it for this edition of Newsmakers. Please join us again next time. <laughs>